So you have to go back to the mid-50s to find a season where Florida lost to both Tennessee and Kentucky in the same year. And <laughs> oh, wow. It's been that long. Uh, this is a massive game for the mental hurdle of Florida against uh, f- for Tennessee against Florida uh, with how this series has gone over the last decade, two decades, really. Um, if they if they get over the Florida hump, knowing and, and just your observation of Tennessee thus far, they won at Pitt. Uh, very good offense, very efficient, better on defense. We'll find out how much better as they get into the SEC play. Where do you think they can be? What do you think their ceiling is? You know, if they're able to win this game, like psychologically, it, it, to me it was very similar when Kentucky beat Florida. And because that was the third time in five years and they got that road win again, like you feel really good about it to where yeah, you've won the majority of the games the last half decade. And like psychologically, that does something for you. Um, you know, and I think Mark Stoops, like and they had a much tougher climb because Tennessee has a history of being good at football. Now, recently, there's been some ebbs and flows and it hasn't been what everybody wants. But like Kentucky's never been good in, historically, consistently. Right. And so for them to get over that, that was big. And so I think it's a little bit of the same thing with Tennessee. Like they win this game, you start looking around at the SEC East and, you know, Missouri and Vanderbilt. I mean, they're not world beaters right now. Florida is a little bit down. Obviously, Georgia's good. South Carolina, you know, isn't great. And so, like, you're basically, I think, battling Kentucky for that number two spot if you're able to get this win. And so much of it, like you said, Hutt, comes down to like getting over that psychological hurdle of believing that you can ultimately get this done and win the game. But if they do, you know, they had a nice victory over Pitt. I think Pitt's a good team. Um, you know, I would say you know they they could be a double digit win. Like you, they're probably they're probably not going to beat Georgia, and that UK game is a toss up. But I think yeah. nine wins, eight nine wins. You know, and they got Bam in there too. Eight, I would say nine wins. I would say is should be a pretty realistic expectation. 